Hi YouTube. I hope everybody's doing well. I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> I might have to go. I thought I'd sit and talk with you, have a cup of coffee and for a little bit. Um, Doug went to get some groceries, so when he gets here, I'll have to put him away. So I'll talk till I get tired unless he pulls up and then I might be back or not. So I don't think so. I'll just chat for a while and um, say hi, I guess is all I'm doing really. Um, yeah, kind of glad this day is over. It was very cold out and I did enjoy my time out in the barn though. I was spreading fresh straw all around and when I got done my horse and chicken were in every fresh straw pile I put down the chicken went and stepped on it and checked it out like oh that's a warm spot you know so that was fun. It's always fun taking care of them so yeah giving them treats and talking to them paying them some attention so they don't get too bored out there you know. And they do. They get lonely. So, yeah. So, anyway. Oh, yeah. Robin, those clay figures, 1,600 videos about you and me and even Karen in there. This person's really got some issues going on for real, you know. That's, um disturbing <laughs> disturbed definitely if you don't know the song get down with the sickness by disturbed check it out check out the lyrics yeah that's entirely disturbing unbelievable wow Yikes. <laughs> it was like crazy. <laughs> Man, I don't know what to say on that one. That's just, uh, that's like, wow. Takes all kinds to make this world, but dang. Whew. Unbelievable. <laughs> Excuse me a minute. Yeah, Doug was funny this morning. Um, well, you know, it's like I told him to. What would you rather me do? Make um, friends that have God in their heart and really truly do care about everybody? Or crappy ones, you know? It's like, come on, really? Um, I trust my judgment in friends more than his with his friends because he'll talk to anybody and I'm like way selective. So it's like, well, whatever. <laughs> so... He's kind of getting used to that aspect because I won't have anybody in my life that's not. Um, like take for instance, even though Doug's estranged from me, if you treated him like shit, I would think less of you. You see what I mean? So it's like, yeah, as a person, um, I won't let anybody get hurt and... and let it just go by, you know. So, no matter what it takes, seriously, so. And I will put my head out on the line, have put my head out on the line for everybody because um, that's as important as it is. So, when I say something, I don't even take my words lightly. I'm very serious all the time. And I just want lovable people in my life. Not lovey-dovey, icky, but really, truly deserving of love from another person that is truly deserving of love and people, you know. So that's, that's the only friends I want around me. The rest of them can just take a really long hike. I'll pack them a lunch. I'll even send a medic with them. No, go <laughs> far. Like, if you think you're a god, just go make your own planet and go away. <laughs> Please. 
and thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. And so. Anyway. Yep. Oh, New York, Pennsylvania. Maybe England. Got some cold weather coming your way. <laughs> Definite. It wasn't really any worse than yesterday. Um, it was about five below when I got up and about five above when uh, I closed the doors <laughs> and the curtains. And so, yeah, it's, and it was probably about 20 below last night. Um, but I looked after the sun came up and it had been out for a while. So I'm assuming that it just probably warmed up about 10, 15 degrees, you know, it sun's up for an hour and yeah. So it's really nice about nine o'clock in the morning here. Um, the sun just shining right through my living room window and it's, I love it. Well, in my kitchen and my bathroom. So, yeah. We used to have another window, too. I had two of them in my laundry room, which is actually a spare room I turned into the laundry room. But um, uh, it used to have two windows in it, but we got broke into, so we closed that one off. So. Anyway. The actually, um, I do want a porch coming off that area and one in the back and maybe one offside my room too, but like just to sit on, you know, for different times of the day. <laughs> so I'd like to have one of those wrap around porches like the um, ranch style houses that have the um, awning all the way around kind of, that would really be neat and like a boardwalk, you know, with them two old rockers out there. I always said I'd probably be 80 years old sitting on, on my porch smoking a doobie and then I'm thinking well now that was silly when I was young because now I have a couple hits and it's like yeah I'm good <laughs> you know. I really never was one to like just huff down major quantities to get way out of my mind you know. And some of this stuff nowadays people have is just like way too much. It's not like the old days. We went for the flavor, you know. That's kind of what I like too. So if it's something that's really potent and it tastes good, then I could be in trouble. I did that a couple times. It's like, phew, I don't ever want to do that again, <laughs> you know. Moderation. So anyway. Of course it does depend on what it is. If it's like a feel good thing. You know. Some of them really aren't. So you got to be careful on. Uh, what you're smoking. You know. So I think I swear. Some of them are actually. Um. created to destroy more than it would be heal because if you're if you can't move like I've seen these people smoke something and, and they can't even move they can't even talk if you can't function then something's wrong with what you're smoking you know you know what I mean so anyway in in theory, I'm just, I'm talking, and of course, everybody's different, and I'm just giving you some of my experiences. Of course, I've gone like, you know, like 10 years here without anything, or, you know, like eight another time, and, you know, depending on what I was doing in my life, you know, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, if, um, well, somebody was preaching, and they do a good job, there is no doubt. It's just sometimes when, um, 
I talk and if I have maybe knowledge that even the Illuminati would say, I would find different words from Christ to say to articulate the same thing. So um, I said to somebody about using different words, that's what I mean, different words, like different pictures, different deeper feelings that they can't get from Christ, but we can get through his words. That's how we talk. We talk above their heads. You see, they think they have codes and um, hypnotizing and colors and sounds and all the different things that they do to trick us. But in an all reality, we have more of a speciality when it comes to communication, something in our blood that they don't have a deeper understanding. So there's always ways to teach the same thing in a different manner using different words. And it actually is a lot different when you find the right words, if that makes sense. Um, gives you a deeper understanding of what um, God is all about. When you can surpass the knowledge of any Illuminati on the planet with Christ in you. I mean, surpass it. You be a spiritual badass. You know, that's what I'm talking about and striving for with my brothers and sisters out here so we can uh, be the leaders on this planet that this planet needs. You know, like younger girls can ladies or older can come and say, hey, no, <coughs> I could have this person as a friend because they're worthy of that. It is time to be selective in your life for you, no matter who you are. You know, it's like um, you got to protect yourself like that. I know it's hard too, and it's lonely. It really is. Um, a consideration I had many times is that there's no way in hell, and I do mean hell, that Satan would ever allow any of the 144,000 to live around each other or like God's little princesses to live close to each other or anything because... Um, they don't want us correlating and communicating. So YouTube is, um, YouTube's where it's at, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I'll just sit and think for a little bit. <laughs> Mm. I saw Global Witness was speaking on Christ, and um, I'm leery of everybody except for Christ. Totally leery. And even if I saw something in this era we're living in that Christ himself didn't see, he would get that information from me. But... I'm leery on anybody speaking about why Christ is here because um, I, I won't even listen to it. This is one time. Here's another one. I don't know what it is. Maybe if you watch it, feel that for me. But he's going to say something adverse that will get me going off. And although he's got great messages and something, this one tells me, there's some of his stuff that tells me no. The same with uh, Jeffrey Doughty, the Christian whistleblower. Um, and he, w he also is an ordained minister, not practicing as a minister of sorts, but more a spiritual teacher. But his understanding is on the other side of the fence, and I'm leery. So... One little word out of place puts my leery button in motion. 
you know. I don't know what else to say. Of course, everybody does have their own discernment. Um, I watch everything with discretion because that's how God uh, raised me, you know. It's to never really trust anybody because everybody's susceptible to Satan. And it takes a very strong mind to um, heart. It takes a very strong heart to overcome that in your mind, in your mind's eye, with your heart. Um, it's not a scale of vertebrae to me. It's the whole thing together. It's um, that's what makes my soul. That's what that triangle inside myself, how we're shaped. That's how I feel the whole thing. That's being a well-rounded person. It's not broken up into sections. So, um, and this is more than an understanding. I know I communicate well, and that's how and that's why. So I hope that made a little more sense. So I am never, never trying to hurt anybody, put anybody down, leave anybody out, or annihilate anybody. But when it comes to disinformation, um, and flat out lies, I mean, when somebody wants me dead, I'm aware of it. And I don't take kindly to it. So anything that's said in that respect um, is kind of mute. You know, it's like God said, just shut it down because it's not true. Um, so it doesn't matter if like I'm 90% good and 10% um, on the quiet side like that isn't where it's at right now in life with people, children of God. It really isn't. And um, geez, a way to explain it. Um, if somebody were of God, I would see it in my mind's eye. That's as, that's as simple as I can put it. And if somebody's absolutely adverse to me and wants me dead, and that ultimately would kill Christ to have his children die, then that is an enemy. And, um, yeah, yeah, people make me leery. You should be leery, too. Because, I mean, like I say, it's one thing to go into the lion den and try and teach them. But when you finally realize that you don't teach those lions, you tame them. You learn how to tame them. You get the, get the whip and you get the chair and you get the cage and you whip its ass into that cage. And shut it down and turn it off. That's how you do it, like in your mind's eye. That's why Satan can't get at me. Because I got him whipped in a cage. You know? Seriously. All he can do is sit in there and fucking meow. You know, that's it. But people got to understand the electrical grid of this planet and the monoliths that are used here to appear to be Christ like. And, um,. That is why it is so important to gather our heart and our mind together and feel our soul in there and not look at it like sections, look at it like the whole thing. Then you'll feel that out there. You will, you will, you'll see it as clear as a bell. It's like conducting like without Christ, he's our symphony conductor and he feels everything so he can tell us everything because he's feeling it like that. Well, if you're carrying energy for Christ, you're actually a part of conducting that symphony. 
you're actually um, a conduit, like an electrical component, like a relay system for God, you know. So that's sort of how that works. And it's very strong within his people, very strong. We just have to find, it's not a frequency, it's, it's the thought length. The, it's like a wavelength, but it's a soul issue within our blood that they literally cannot communicate on that level or that scale. That's why our minds are a little sharper when it comes to logical and common sense. That's common, not common as um, the masses or lesser, but common as the commonality to commune with Christ in that spirit. Our spirits are connected to the Holy Spirit, and they're not. That makes us wiser. That's how we do that. I'm going to try and find different ways and more ways in every way I can think to say it to reach everybody. So you can um, not practice it, but just know you got it going on. It's them that get in the way with um, all their baloney, their fear tactics, their electronics, their noises, their... Everything, everything they try and do to us, um, just tell yourself if it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. And that thought alone, um, think to yourself, okay, if you were a genie or you had a genie in your life and he could grant you one wish, for me that wish is for God to never let me go. So, um, I think that's the most important one. Some people would ask for money. Some people would ask for wisdom. I just ask never to fall. And that's really important to me. You know, if we make it our most important issue in life, um, it works. It really works. Okay, everybody, I think that's about what was on my mind. I hope um, I had a few concerns that I was worried about people, and I don't think I have to worry anymore. I, I do believe something happened this weekend to kind of wake up a whole bunch of people to a new thought. Something tells me something's going to be different. So let's just hope and pray for that of better communication and... Um, the ability to teach it more easily. So, okay, everybody, I love you very much. Thank you so much for joining me. Peace and love from Pine City, Minnesota, USA.